If you're not already incorporating Microsoft Copilot into your Power Apps building routine, then you could be missing out on some serious productivity gains. I'm gonna show you five different ways that I use Microsoft Copilot to help build Power Apps better and faster. And starting here on number one, using Copilot to create custom images for your Power Apps. Custom visuals go a long way to help improve the look and feel of our Power Apps. Now, of course, we can go find some stock images and upload that here on the Media tab and use that in our Power Apps, or there's even some built-in capability now to browse some stock images directly in Power Apps and use those in your app. But sometimes these stock images just might not cut it and you want something a little bit more custom. That's where Microsoft Copilot can really help. Now, if I go to copilot.microsoft.com, I can put in a prompt like this to create a custom visual for my app. I can ask it to create an abstract background and even specify specific color code values that I want it to use. I can give it details like to avoid any harsh lines and use things that are subtle and soft and to give this a dreamy and ethereal feel. Now I can send this prompt into Microsoft Copilot and it will go and create four sample images for me based off of this prompt that I can then go and download and use in my Power App. So you see we have four nice images to choose from, but also one of the more recent improvements to Microsoft Copilot in the image generation features is the ability to tweak these images. So you see we have some suggestions below here for some prompts of how we could ask it to refine these images. So maybe it's just not sparkly enough for me and I'm gonna ask Copilot to add some more sparkles. And now we have something we can work with. So I can go into any one of these images and we can save this. And now we can go over to our Power App and upload this media and use this wherever we want in the app. This could be as a background or we can use it directly here in this image control. And now we have that custom visual. And moving on to number two, I use Microsoft Copilot all the time to help me create regular expressions that I can use in my apps. And regular expressions or regex for short allows us to do pattern recognition. So you can create a little piece of code that will match a specific pattern. And then we can use the is match function in PowerFX to be able to tell if some text that we have matches that pattern. So in this scenario, I have a simple form on the screen and I want them to put in an app name and an app ID. Now you'll notice from the hint text that I'm asking the user to put in the app ID in a specific format with PA, a dash, and then we have a series of five numbers after that. But as we well know, sometimes people just don't read those messages and put things in the correct format. So this is exactly where we might wanna use something like the isMatch function to match that with a regular expression to ensure that they're putting it in the right format before we go and submit that to our database. So let's try this out and see how we can have Copilot create a regular expression to match on that pattern. So I'm simply going to ask it to write a regular expression to help me validate a string, which should always start with the letters PA followed by a dash in five characters. Okay, there we go. And I could also specify this even more. So I said five characters, which will allow letters or digits or underscores. So I could tweak the prompt and I could say followed by five numbers to refine this regular expression even more. Now that I have that, we can copy this and we can build this into our process. So I have this submit button and before it's submitted, I wanna do that check to see if it matches. So I'll go to the on select property and this is where we'll use the is match. Now with this formula, you're first going to put in the text that you're checking for. And this text will correspond to this text input two. So I'll put TB input underscore two and we'll get the value. And then this is where we'll put in that regular expression. So we can just do some double quotes and paste in that regular expression that Microsoft Copilot created for us. Now what this will return is a Boolean value, a true or false. So if it does match, it'll be set to true. If it doesn't, it'll be set to false. And then I can do some other logic based off of that Boolean value. So I can just wrap this in an if. So I can say if is match, meaning if that is true. And rather than actually submitting it, I'm just going to do some notifications here. So I'll say notify, and then we'll say ID matched. Otherwise we're gonna do a notification and we're going to say the app ID doesn't match the format and we'll make this an error type message. So now if we run through this, I'll do something that doesn't match and we'll submit that. So there you go. So we get that error message that the app ID doesn't match. Now if I were to tweak this and submit that again, now we'll get that the ID matched. So it's doing that check for us and we can make sure that our inputs are being passed in correctly before we go and submit anything into our database with some help from Copilot. Tip number three is using Microsoft Copilot to help write HTML that we can use in our Power Apps. One of the out of the box controls that we have for Power Apps is the HTML text control. And this allows us to paste in HTML and CSS to extend the capabilities of our apps. 
And this HTML control is really helpful if you need to do some custom formatting in your app, just use it sparingly because it does kind of add an extra layer of maintenance into your apps. But let's take a look at how Microsoft Copilot can help us write some HTML to use in our apps. And one of the things that we can't do out of the box in Power Apps is gradients. So this could be a good use case maybe to use the HTML control. So I'm going to ask Copilot to help write some HTML to spell out the word Power Apps in a rainbow of gradient colors. Now, the other thing and the really important thing about using this trick to generate HTML for Power Apps is this last piece of the prompt. I'm asking it to use only inline CSS styling and to escape any double quotes with single quotes so that it's compatible with Power Apps. Because when we're using the HTML control in Power Apps, we have to wrap our HTML in double quotes and it only supports inline CSS. So all of the code samples that you'll see out there for HTML that you might want to reuse in your Power Apps aren't going to be optimized for this. So not only can you take an existing code sample and ask Copilot to format it for you to be optimized for Power Apps just with those last two lines of this prompt, but you can also have it create new stuff. So we're going to submit that and we'll have Copilot spit out some beautiful HTML that's optimized for Power Apps already for us that we can just copy and paste. So we're gonna copy this. We'll go over to our HTML HTML control and right here in the HTML text property, we'll wrap all that, as I said, in double quotes. And now we have Power Apps spelled out in a rainbow of colors to use in our application. So this is just a very simple example of some HTML that we can use to generate and how we can tweak existing HTML samples with Copilot to be able to plug and play into our Power Apps. Now this next one is something that I stumbled upon. One of the things that is always a pain for me to do when building apps is to write out the user documentation. So I started experimenting when Microsoft Copilot gained the ability to be able to recognize images to see if it could help evaluate an app and suggest some simple in-user documentation. Now keeping in mind that we can only upload a single image at a time and that it obviously isn't able to tell the interactivity of that, it still is pretty good at summarizing the elements that you have on the screen and suggesting some basic documentation. So let's take a look at how this works. Now in Microsoft Copilot, you'll see this option here to add an image. So what I want to do is have it evaluate this prompt manager application. So I'm going to click on the add an image button and we'll upload from device and upload that screenshot. So now it has a context we see right here of the screenshot. Now I can give it my prompt. I can say evaluate this app screenshot and provide in user documentation. And there you go, it suggested some documentation. So it was able to tell from that screenshot that the app that I have is a prompt management application. So it's created a user guide. It's talking about the navigation menu and recognizing all of the elements there with the homepage, the search capability, the categories. And in the main content area, it's showing that there's a prompt section that displays a list of available prompts. And then this is where, as I mentioned, it's not perfect. So it says that there's a customer feedback application section. That's actually one of the prompts that I have in there. So it's getting a little bit confused about the prompts and what they do. So you're definitely going to have to review this and make changes, but this is much better than starting completely from scratch and building out this documentation. And this last one is another new one I've been experimenting with recently. And shout out to Andrew Spalley, who's the one that turned me on to this, that it was even possible. He did a great session on design heuristics and the Power Platform UI UX Allies call. And he told me that we can actually have co-pilots do a heuristics evaluation for you of your app. So we can use that same capability where you can upload an image to Copilot and give you an evaluation point by point based off of each design principle. So I just put in a prompt to Microsoft Copilot asking it to perform a heuristics evaluation on this application based off of the 10 design principles. I went ahead and just spelled out all of the design principles that I wanted to give me feedback on and I've uploaded an image of a different Power App that I have here that I wanna get that feedback on. And it's provided this detailed evaluation based off of each of those design principles. So I see for a visibility of status, it's telling me that I could highlight things on the cart more clearly. And if we scroll down to things like error prevention, the screenshot that I uploaded didn't really show any error messages or error handling. So it wasn't able to guess if that's in the app and just letting us know that that should be in there if it's not. And on things like recognition rather than recall, we did a good job with the images and the descriptions to help with that. And it just gives us detailed feedback with suggestions of how we can improve it. Well, those are all the tips that I have for you. Hopefully this inspired you to start using Microsoft Copilot in your day-to-day -day app building. And if you have a use case that I didn't list here that you use Copilot to help with app building or anything in the Power Platform, I would love to hear it. Drop a note in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.